Stop right there and think. What makes a tactical RPG a good tactical RPG? Well, as the makers of Regalia, of Men and Monarchs, we may have a couple of ideas. So, here you go. How to make combat awesome in five easy steps. Number five. Thoughtful turns. Charge! Wait. No. Plan your strategy in advance. We move now, yes? Although one cannot escape from an occasional whim of the random number gods, success is largely in your hands. And head. Number four. Capable characters. Leave this to me. The large cast of cheerfully dysfunctional individuals at your command, each combat is unpredictable and open to new strategies. Balance out your steel-toting knights, sneaky rogues, and special effects abusing wizards. <laughs> Explosion! Number three, signature skill sets. That said, your companions go above and beyond tired class archetypes. Every character is a different beast to play with. Push, pull, trap, and summon cardboard cutouts to mark your enemies. I will be your opponent. Number two, coordinated clobbering. Unique skill sets are all fine and dandy. They're even better when combined together. While well, a humble firewall may not attract attention, a liberal application of knockbacks will turn it into a pitfall of pain. Discover what works with what. Put your guns on! Or what doesn't. Oh, for the love of... Number one. Fiendish foe. No hero spends his whole career slaying rats. Eyes or ants or country bandits. <laughs> uh, as you complete your baby steps into the world of regalia, let's go. You will discover many kinds of less than friendly monsters, all hell bent on making your combat experience miserable. So we mashed all these things together. Hopefully. Results will be a game we have always wanted to play. 